Uh, we are all about feeling a little bit mundane as we explore the incredible talents of some amazing young South Africans and their families on Family Day. Welcome back to a very feel-good Monday morning here on Expresso. Now, from battling some serious medical challenges um, as a premature baby to defying the odds on the footballing field, that's the kind of South African story we love. Hayden Haywood's story is one of triumph, one of resilience and the power of community. And this morning, we're going to chat to Hayden and his very proud dad, Rowan Haywood, about his extraordinary journey from tiny little booties to football boots. And boy, is he filling those boots now, as well as an upcoming football tournament in Spain and, of course, his aspirations for the future. Welcome to both of you, Hayden. Thank you so much for being here this morning. I know it's kind of your day off, okay, so I get that. Likewise for you, Rowan. Yeah. Um, and normally I would start with, with Hayden, but you were too young to be able to articulate when your journey began, so I have to start with your dad. Um, an incredible journey. Let's start with those little booties, my friend. Those uh -huh. um, uh, actually inconceivably small little booties. Yeah, it's very small. Hayden was born at 31 weeks. Wow. 1.5 kilos. With all odds against him, he had bleeding on the brain, murmur on the heart, Gee. and he was told that he'd be visually impaired as well as auditory as well. How's that working out for you now, huh? <laughs> so, that's so yeah, it's been a miracle in itself for us. How did you feel? Because that, that's a third, to speak honestly, yeah, that's a third of what my son weighed when he was born, which is crazy to me. You must have been terrified in that space. At the beginning of that journey, what sort of life did you see unfolding before you now as you've got this version of that life set next to you in all honesty I never thought that he'd reach the age that he is today because he was in ICU for 31 days sure and yeah we never thought that he'd reach this age today what's what's been the key yeah what what is that thing is it a family spirit is it a fire that burns in him what is what has made the difference here do you think I think the difference is him persevering and just being resilient in everything that he does and just showing us that grace is still upon him as well so it's a blessing to us to still have him around as well. Oh, completely. To so all of us, my friend, he's just sitting here taking this all aboard. He's like, yeah, whatever, guys. <laughs> whatever. I just want to play football and be awesome. Uh, buddy, when you get to play football in the way that you do, I think people don't understand the beautiful game until they've seen it played at the highest level. Was there a moment that inspired you for football? Where did this love of this game begin for you, man? My love for football began when my late grandpa introduced me to sport. Oh. And at the age of 10, I joined Shoshulosa Football Club. And you've got to have the right club around you. What does it feel like when you get to play with your mates? I know they're teammates, but you guys become a family when you play in a club like that because you spend so much time. You've got to be resilient for each other. That's half of the reason why you play is for that team. How does it feel when you get to do what you do out there on a the field with your brothers in that team? It just, I don't know, it just makes me happy and to play with him is... It's special, man. It really is a special thing. When this, because it's not just, as we were chatting just now, it's not just about the future prospects in football, which clearly there are some prospects there. It's about the life skills. It's about the growth. When you see him doing what he does at the level that he does when he's playing football, how have you as a parent manage to manage your expectations and not go too crazy involved or, or have you gone all in? How do you manage being a parent slash coach? Because I know you're wearing the coach yeah. t-shirt, but, but you've got to be. To foster that talent, you've got to have kind of an eye on that bigger picture all the time. I think in the beginning it was hard when he started out because I used to be involved, like you say, all the time. Do this, do that. And then afterwards I realized that I'm not helping him in any way. He surpassed you. <laughs> <laughs> we all get there, man. We all get there. Yeah, and then started taking advice from his coaches that coaches him regularly and just taking a step back for him to do what he needs to do. And being with him all the time, you, do, you as a parent, you don't really see his improvement, but yeah. other people see that and they comment on that as well. And, and it's good, but you've also got to be able to call your kids. You've got to have an honest relationship. That's you good. can't just be there to pump up the ego because in football, you need someone to be able to talk honestly with you, which is a big thing. What do you think makes you so good at football? If you had to think about your strengths when you're playing on the field, is it your, is it your physical strength? Is it your speed? Is it in your head? Do you have a stronger mind than other kids out there? What do you think makes you such a good baller? I think it's just the 
don't like the gift that God gave me at just... I love it. Where do you want to take that gift? I know you're still very young to be putting your future out there to this degree, but this is where it, where it manifests. Where would you like to go with your football? Like overseas to go play professionally. Now, dare I ask what club? Do, do I, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to just put myself <laughs> out there. I'm going to ask um, if you could play for any club in the world right now, what club would that be? Probably Real Madrid or Barcelona. Well, there we go, hey? And half of Cape Town have just rolled their eyes, or at least two-thirds. <laughs> but Carl Waste, you will be really, really happy. Uh, I'm going to ask for your advice, because you've got a big one coming up now. You're going to be going to Spain, and that's next level. How are you feeling about that? Are you nervous? Are you excited? Firstly, I want to thank Shoshuloza for granting me this opportunity to go over to another country and play up against future football legends. But I feel nervous, but excited at the same time. Good, you must be, because that's going to elevate you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put this as a, as a double-headed question here, because I need advice from both of you, from dad to dad. Um, so I'll start with you. What advice do you have for parents who have a very talented youngster in their care and the opportunity to help them attach, can connect to that potential? What advice do you have? I think the advice that I could give each and every parent is to support them as best you can, take them to each training session, and if you, by the means, get them a private coach, because I have a private coach for him as well, it's Ryan Porter, which helps him. Oh, my boy. Yeah. Ryan is on next level, eh? <laughs> Ryan is he's like David Beckham, next level, free kick, next level. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, wow. and his uncle helps him with his fitness as well, Ray. So Brilliant. if you could do that for him as a parent, it's the best advice that I could give. I love that. Sometimes you've got to step back and let an actual expert step in as much as yeah. we think we know everything. And just very quickly, any advice you have for any other young footballers out there? Work hard, stay focused, and you will achieve. Boom. And you'll manifest. And you'll be on TV about to fly to Spain to compete against future stars and maybe some future teammates <laughs> at Real Madrid. Um, and the funny thing is there will be scouts out there watching, my friend. I guarantee you Real Madrid will have an eye on this tournament. We love young South Africans like this. If you happen to have one of your very own, share with us. We might just put them on TV. But thank you to both of you. What thank an you awesome so. opportunity. Thank you, man. Thank you.